What's up, fellow Sambarians? So, weather's kind of crummy right now, and uh, can't really do a whole lot of work on one of the sandbars that's outside uh, until I get some parts to finish up the carburetor. But I figured I would make a video on steering wheels and hub adapters because I get asked quite a bit. And I figured instead of always having to type the same responses and blah, 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 I'll just make a video. So hopefully this video is helpful when it comes to deciding on which steering wheel or hub adapter you are going to want to use in your sandbar. Uh, so sit back, take some notes, pay attention because there's a lot, there's kind of a lot to take in depending on the situation that you have going on with your sandbar. So let's start with this one and then we'll move over to the other sandbar. Okay, so since we are here in my KS4, let's talk about the flat steering wheels. So in my store, I do sell the Momo flat steering wheels. There are two versions of steering wheels. So if you're completely unaware and you're new to the whole aftermarket steering wheel thing, uh, this is going to be helpful. There are universal steering wheels out there. Momo, uh, Nardi, um, NRG, uh, fake knockoffs, um, all out there. And they're all usually six bolt or six screw universal steering wheels. This is a six screw universal Momo steering wheel. So, if you're wanting to change the steering wheel in your sandbar, you're going to need one of two things, depending on which part you get. You're going to need a hub adapter. So to use a universal six hole steering wheel, you're going to need a hub adapter, steering wheel hub adapter, specifically designed for a sandbar steering column or steering shaft or whatever you want to call it because they are splined and it is a specific hub adapter that it needs that is the only part that you will need that is specific to the sandbar is the hub adapter steering wheels you can get any steering wheel all day long it doesn't matter as long as it has six holes for the steering wheel hub adapter so in my store, I sell the HKB boss kits, which are made in Japan from Japan. And this is what I have on my KS4 is the HKB boss kit. And the steering wheel I am using is the flat or shallow dish uh, Momo steering wheel. So if you are planning on running a flat wheel, in my opinion, I'm just saying in my opinion, doesn't matter. Um, my opinion, the HKB boss kit is perfect for the flat steering wheel. The HKB boss kit hub adapter is about, I would say three, three and a half inches tall. So when you put that hub adapter on with your flat steering wheel, it is close. It's pretty close to stock height steering wheel. Now, most steering wheels are about 14 inches in diameter, around 14 inches in diameter. The sandbar steering wheels, however, are, they're probably close to 15, 15 and a half. I could be off, but it is slightly bigger than most universal steering wheels. So just be aware that if you get a steering wheel and you really want one close to the size that was in there, You'll just have to do a little bit more research, but most universal steering wheels out there are think I think are about 14 inches in diameter around that. Um, that's kind of like the standard, I guess, unless you get some funky other universal steering wheel, which is bigger, which you can. They're out there. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are available uh, usually on eBay or Amazon or something. So anyways, in this one, I use the HKB boss kit which is about three and a half inches tall with the flat steering wheel, which is perfect. So as you can see, I got a pretty good amount of leg room with this setup. Now, 
there is a short hub adapter, which I will show later on in this video. Uh, but right now I'm just going to explain it until I show it to you. The short hub adapter is about, I'd say about an inch to inch and a quarter tall. So you could run the short hub adapter with a flat steering wheel, but it's going to pull the steering wheel down farther to your knees. So let's say you're a tall guy. I'm like seven foot six. So, I mean, this is, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like five, nine. So five, nine and my stubby little legs i got you know a good three three and a half inches between the wheel and my knees so i got a good amount of room but if you put your short hub adapter on with your flat steering wheel it gets it really close closer to your knees so if you're a tall guy that might be a little bit close for comfort when it comes to uh sitting in your sandbar because you might be knocking your knees on the steering wheel and I'm not saying you can't do that. There have been guys who run short hub adapters with the flat steering wheels. And, you know, it can be done. I just personally wouldn't. I would like a little bit of leg room. So that is totally up to you. Uh, but this is kind of what I, I run and what I kind of recommend is a HKB basket with a flat steering wheel like this. Now, if you go and you're looking for steering wheels and you're new to the whole steering wheel game, you're going to see deep dish steering wheels. Deep dish steering wheels are, you know, this is probably overall maybe two, two and a half inches. Deep dish is probably four, four and a half inches around there, I'm guessing. So you really don't want to run a deep dish with the HKB boss kit because it's really going to put your steering wheel out pretty far. So you're going to be, you know, driving like this puts your hand really far away from the blinker turn signal and all that stuff so i mean it's just kind of awkward but let's say you're a really tall guy and you got your shaquille o'neal and you want to get into one of these k trucks having a deep dish with this hkb boss kit adapter is going to give you a ton of leg room because it's going to put the steering wheel up here so you can you know be pretty tall but the steering wheel is going to be up higher so it's just going to be a little more awkward I did do that in one of my sandbars, a deep dish with the HKB boss kit. And it worked out. I was fine with it. But uh, I did realize that running a short hub adapter with a deep dish looked a lot better and was just easier to deal with because you're literally like reaching down to turn this, hit the turn signal and stuff. I mean, it's just kind of, and it looked kind of silly with the steering wheel all up high. But that, again, that is totally up to you. That's just my opinion. You might like the really tall steering wheel uh, look in your sandbar. Um, so this, so if you were looking for a steering wheel and you wanted a flat steering wheel, I recommend doing the HKV boss kit, which I have on my website or they are available in Japan. And these Momo steering wheels I have on my website or they are available on eBay and Amazon probably. Um, so yeah, that kind of covers the HKB boss kit with a flat steering wheel and versus running a deep dish steering wheel. And so that leads me to another thing that I'm thinking about it. You really don't want to run, let's say you want to run a quick release. So again, if you're not familiar with stuff, a quick release is where you can take your steering wheel off and take it with you or take it off while you're driving and scare your friends and hang it out the window, whatever. <laughs> Um, you probably don't want to run a quick release with a HKB, uh, hub adapter because again, it's going to push it up. It's going to push it up another inch or so, which again might work if you have tall legs, but if you want to run a quick release, you really want to run a quick release with a short hub adapter because the short hub adapter with a quick, quick release makes it about the same height as the HKB boss kit. So to keep that look close to factory, quick release with a short hub adapter. And I'm gonna show you the, the short hub adapter in a few minutes here. But um, that's what I recommend. If you really want to run a quick release, do not use the HKB boss kit because it will put it out far. Especially if you wanna run a deep dish steering wheel, 
that thing's going to be way out here and you're going to be <laughs> looking through your steering wheel while you're driving. So flat steering wheel, HKB boss kit, perfect. Flat steering wheel with a short hub adapter, just pushes your steering wheel down a little bit lower, but that will also work. I prefer this style, but that is totally, again, up to you. So now that we've kind of gone over um, all that, let's go look at the deep dish steering wheel with the short hub adapter so you can get an idea of where that steering wheel is. So just real quick before we switch over, I've got, you know, three, three and a half inches between my thigh and the uh, steering wheel with the flat and the HKB. So let's go check out the deep dish. Okay, so now we are in my Sambar KV, my van. And in this car, or this Sambar, I just yesterday uh, installed a deep dish Momo steering wheel. So there's the flat dish that was in my truck, and this is the deep dish in my van. So if you're in the mood to run a deep dish because you want that drift style race car look um they usually run the deep dish steering wheels and this is perfect with the short hub adapter so the short hub adapter is probably about an inch or inch and a quarter or so tall and if you want to run the short hub adapter now pay this is where it gets a little tricky um, if you want to run your short hub adapter with a quick release, uh, I was running a short hub adapter with a quick release with a flat steering wheel prior to installing this deep dish. Now, the flat steering wheel, I mean the flat um, steering, yeah, flat steering wheel with the quick release and the hub adapter put the steering wheels probably about the same height as it is right now with a deep dish and just the hub adapter. So if you really want to run that quick release, I recommend using the short hub adapter uh, with a flat steering wheel. Otherwise, it's going to push the steering wheel out kind of far. So again, that's totally up to you. But if you want to run a quick release, I recommend a flat steering wheel. It's just easier. Or again, if you want more leg room or whatever, then you can run a quick release with a deep dish. But I liked the quick release with the flat steering wheel. It was just a lot better overall look because it wasn't up so high. Okay, so we went over the quick release. Now, let's say you want to run the short hub adapter with a deep dish like this with no quick release. Um, you're going to need a, I think it's like a half inch probably about a half inch spacer so it has a hub adapter with your half inch spacer which can be bought off of ebay or amazon they're out there it's just a steering wheel hub adapter spacer um and they're they're all out there there's a bunch of different people selling them you are going to need to run that with your short hub adapter because unfortunately the horn button will hit the uh steering shaft or steering column um like it will hit it will hit it and you can physically not install your horn button because it's just going to hit that and yeah it won't it won't go on so you are going to need the little spacer on top of your short hub adapter if you don't run a quick release that's why I kind of recommend running a quick release with the short hub adapter and the flat steering wheel because then you don't need that add this little spacer but again it's totally up to you if you want to run a deep dish like this with the short hub adapter then you're going to need that little spacer that's just how it is but if you run a short hub adapter with a quick quick release you will not need that little spacer because you got plenty of room because you put the quick release on it so uh let's get my phone call go away okay so we've gone over short hub adapter, half inch little spacer, and your deep dish. Now this is kind of perfect because if you got longer legs, I've got probably about four and a half, 
four and a half inches or so between my thigh and the steering wheel. So this gives you a little bit more room than uh, the HKB basket and the flat steering wheel that was in my other truck. So this gives you a little bit more room as it is. If you ran the quick release and the flat steering wheel, that'll give you a little bit more room as it is. Uh, or if you run this short hub adapter with a flat steering wheel, like I said, it's gonna push it down pretty low and then you're gonna need to run your half inch little spacer in between the steering wheel and the uh, hub adapter. And like I said, hub adapters are all specific for the vehicle. You can't just buy a generic hub adapter because it's not gonna match the splines on the steering column. Okay, there was something else I wanted to uh, bring up. Oh, right. So let's say you wanna buy the parts from me. I have on my website an option with the short hub adapter to get the blinker cancel ring. So the HKB boss kit has a built-in blinker reset or cancel ring. So, you know, when you hit your blinker and you turn, well, let's see here. Actually, I don't want to turn it on because then it'll cut my phone off. But you know, you turn your blinker on and you turn, blink, clicks, and then it resets and your blinker turns off. So, the issue with the short hub adapters is they're not really specifically made for the sandbars. We just figured out which one does work with the sandbar. They work with other Subarus, newer models. And the blinker cancel chingus in there uh, doesn't work with this hub adapter. So um, Aaron, AA Ron, I call him, he 3D printed the blinker cancel ring. So if you buy the short hub adapter, and you want to be able to not think about canceling your blinker. For a while, I had to remember <laughs> I had my blinker on. I mean, it's basically like if you're on the freeway and you hit your blinker, you obviously turn your blinker off when you get to the next lane over because you're not flipping 90s on the freeway and it's not resetting for you. So that was pretty much you would make a right-hand turn at a signal. You would just have to reach down and hit your blinker, which is fine. It's a little annoying, but... It is what it is, but then Aaron uh, printed a blinker cancel ring that goes right on the bottom of the hub adapter, which is an option on my website. If you buy the short hub adapter, you can add that little ring, which is like 10 bucks, and then set it and forget it. And you know, it's good to go and you don't ever have to worry about it. So just take that into consideration. If you buy the short hub adapter, you're either going to need the blinker cancel ring or you're going to need to remember to turn your blinker off because it doesn't work with this particular vehicle. Uh, but the hub adapter fits and that's all we care about. So we can get that aftermarket steering wheel on. So like I said, I used to have a quick release in here mainly just for looks and I thought I would take the steering wheel out, but I never took the steering wheel out. So it was kind of pointless to have the quick release in here. But, you know, maybe if you park your sandbar out on the street, um, just a little peace of mind that you can take your steering wheel off and walk inside and not have to, I mean, someone could obviously steer by grabbing the hub adapter, but maybe you want to take the steering wheel off. Who knows? But I would run a short hub adapter with a quick release with a flat steering wheel, and that's like perfect height. Again, if you ran a deep dish with a short hub adapter and a quick release, it'll just put the steering wheel up another inch and a half or so. So it's all preference as far as how high you want your steering wheel. But to keep it closest to the stock position, um, obviously keeping it as low as possible is going to be um, the best way to go. And that might not be the case for everybody if they got really long legs. So... Just kind of take that into consideration. If you want more leg room, it's going to all depend on the hub adapter and the steering wheel that you get. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, like I said, I have steering wheels on my website. I have a black and a silver Momo. I'm trying to get more like this one right here in pretty soon. It's got like the Momo printed all over it. I should have a black one coming pretty soon. I don't know. I ordered it a while ago and I'm still waiting on it, but 
Um, the black and silver ones I do have on my website. A flat dish or a flat or a shallow dish, not any deep dishes yet. Um, and the short hub adapters with the cancel rings and the HKV baskets that fit all sandbars um, and Domingo's. So, yeah, that was it. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, check out the website. I'll have a link down below so you can um, just hit that and go straight to it. But, yeah, have fun. Find a cool steering wheel. Get yourself a nice wood grain, a nice velvety grippy one nrg a momo whatever they're they're everywhere out there again a six hole universal steering wheel is going to fit these hub adapters um so it's just a matter of finding the one that you like and that's going to be your your uh that's going to be your best option just looking out there for something that matches i mean i have a wood i used to have a wood grain in the white truck because it matched the wood grain pieces that i have but then I ended up doing a white RPM, I mean, a white mile per hour gauge face decal. So I figured I would put that Momo in there because it kind of matched that white and the silver and the black and all that. But yeah, just have fun. Make your sandbar look different. Get rid of that boring plastic steering wheel. <laughs> but uh, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that was a little informative and we'll help you decide on your next steering wheel. All right, see ya.